Welcome to Context Managers and Python's With Statement. My name is Christopher, and I will be your guide. This course is all about a context manager. That's a code block that does resource management using the with keyword. In this course, you will learn about how context managers work, common context manager usage in the standard library, and how to write your own context manager. A common part of writing programs is managing resources, such as files, network connections, or database connections. The typical interaction is to open one of these resources, do some work, then close the resource. That last part is important. You have to remember to clean up after yourself. Your program can actually crash if you leave too many of these kinds of things open at a time. One way of making sure things get cleaned up, even if there's an exception, is to use a finally section in a try block. Or, as you might have guessed from the course's title, another option is to use a context manager. A context manager is instantiated using the with keyword. Underneath the with is a block of code. When that block exits, a special method gets called on the context manager, mostly used to do resource cleanup. Context managers can be found throughout the standard library, and they are often one of two ways of doing things. You can use the open built-in function inside of a try finally block, or you can use the same function as a context manager. In the latter case, the file gets closed automatically when the block finishes. You can even write your own context managers, either through the creation of a custom class or by writing a function that uses the context manager decorator in the context lib library. Next up, I'll show you a bunch of examples of context managers in the standard library and how you might use them. In the previous lesson, I gave an overview of the course. In this lesson, I'll be showing you the how and why of context managers. This is the problem. Consider the three lines of code that you need to open and write to a file. If this line fails, resulting in an exception, then this line won't run. If the exception results in your script exiting, the operating system will typically close the file for you. But what if you catch the error somewhere else to inform the user? Well, you've still got an open file handle. Your operating system has a maximum number of file handles that it will allow you to open at any given time. It typically isn't a small number. On many Linux boxes, it defaults to just over a thousand. But if you're executing a long running program, lack of resource management can catch up with you. Dad joke in the title aside, a common way of dealing with the problem is to use a try except finally block. The finally portion of the block runs whether or not there was an exception, guaranteeing that your file gets closed. The one drawback of this approach is you have to remember to do it each and every time you deal with a resource. Spoiler alert, context managers don't have this challenge. The Python open function can be used as both a function and as a context manager. To use it as a context manager, you write the with keyword. When you instantiate open as a context manager, it returns a file handle. That's seen here after the as keyword. With statements form a code block. Everything indented underneath it is in the block. When the block is finished, the context manager automatically closes the file for you. This is in contrast to the try except finally case. Here, you don't have to remember to handle the resource. It's done by the context manager. Not having to remember is good. The downside is you don't have an opportunity to deal with the exception. It gets caught and the file gets closed, but you can't inform the user like you would with the except portion of the try block. Context managers are built following a protocol. They are objects, like everything in Python, and these objects need to have a dunder enter method, which, if it returns something, becomes the target of the as portion of the statement, and a dunder exit method that is called when the context block goes out of scope. This is where your resource closing goes. When Python hits a with statement, it calls the context manager's dunder enter method, provides the result of dunder enter to the as target, runs the code block underneath the width, and finally, once the block exits, it calls the context manager's dunder exit method. This method actually takes arguments that give information about whether there was an exception, but I'll get back to that later. 
Python 3.1, yep, that's just a single one, this is quite some time ago, introduced the capability of instantiating multiple context managers in the same WIP block. This example opens a file for reading and opens a different file for writing. This is a common pattern when you're doing data transformation. A little more on this in a future lesson. Next up, I'll give you a tour of some context managers from the standard library and how they're used. In the previous lesson, I showed you how context managers work. In this lesson and the next, I'll cover a few of the uses of context managers from the Python standard library. Context managers can be found throughout the standard library and often are an alternate way of doing something. In the previous lesson, I showed opening a file in both the try accept way and the context manager way. In this lesson, I'm going to run you through two practical uses. The first will give more details on opening files, and the second will show you how to use OS Scander to iterate through the contents of a directory. In the previous lesson, I quickly spoke about reading from one file and writing to another. Let's take a look at some actual code that does this. On the screen is ono.py. It takes a file name as a command line argument, opens that file, reads each line of the file into a string, replaces all the O's in the string with a not sign, then writes the new string into a different file. I'm using the pathlib library. It's a more modern way of dealing with files. If you're used to using the OS module directly, you should learn about pathlib. It's much cleaner. On this line, I take the first command line argument and use it to build a path object. In a real program, I would have a bunch of error checking here to make sure the file exists. In this case, it'll just be crashtastic instead. I then create a second path object using the same file name as the first, but adding a dot oh no suffix to the path. In order to report file errors, I'm wrapping my context manager in a try accept block. Note that this isn't to make sure the files get closed. The context manager will do that. This is in case the creation of the context manager throws an exception. I'll explain more about that in a second. And here's what you came for. I'm instantiating two context managers from the path objects open method. This is very similar to using the built-in open function. The only difference is the built-in function takes the file name as an argument. With the path object, this method calls the built-in open function for you, passing in the file name contained in the path object. The first context manager here opens the source path file and creates a file handle named source. The second opens the dest path file and creates a file handle named dest. The dest path open uses mode X, which is exclusive write. If the file already exists, this will throw an exception. Hence, why all of this is wrapped in a try block. Lines 10 through 12 do the data transformation, reading each line from the source file handle, doing the replace call, then writing each line into the dest file handle. The accept block prints out a message, including the error that was raised, which contains the name of the file that had the problem. Let's go try this out. That's my source file. And there I've run the script, passing in the file name of the source file. There's the output hello.text.ono file. Let's try it again. And there's the exception. Seeing as hello.text.ono already exists, the dest path open with argument mode x throws an exception. This is a quickie using the OS module's scander method. Line 5 instantiates scander as a context manager, passing in the first command line argument as a parameter. The context manager returns a value which is stored in the entries object. I then iterate through the entries object, printing a line for each object found. I'm showing the name of the file, padded to width 16, and its size. Let's take a look at it. Let me just scroll back here. This is the result for my home directory. If you're not a Unix person, that little tilde is a shortcut for home on a Unix system. Note that some of these are directories rather than files. 
The 1,504 bytes of music is just the metadata for the folder. It's not the several gigs of tunes contained underneath. Next up, two more examples of context managers in the standard library.